Coming up on this, our sixth episode of NSFW, it is the GTFO Awards. Very privileged because we're joined by Tom Merritt and we get to hand out the GTFO Awards to all of America. Stick around. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode six for December 29th, 2009, the GTFO Awards. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by the new voice-activated sync, featuring hands-free calling, music and podcast search, and turn-by-turn navigation, available exclusively on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. For more details, visit SyncMyRidePodcast.com. Gentlemen, it is time to GTFO because it is time for NSFW. NSFW, that is the show featuring Naughty Samurai fighting woodchucks. He didn't even put woodchucks. He just put woodchuck, singular. A, a Naughty Samurai fighting woodchuck. My name is Brian Brushwood. I put the BB into the NSFW. You probably didn't even notice the BB. That's why I'm like a ninja. I'm hiding. I'm joined by my inimitable co-host, Mr. Justin Robert Young. How are you doing, sir? Oh, as as 2009 draws to a close, uh, I could never, I couldn't be happier. I'm so thrilled. I, I peed myself during that intro. Yeah, and you you also kind of got a little proclaimed. I could hear you're kind of getting messed up. You're like, I I don't even know how to feel. I just love you guys so much. I'm so happy with uh, oh you. Oh my god, I'm just so awash with emotion right now. I don't even know what to say. I believe it, but I know who does know what to say because he is the host of Buzz Out Loud on the CNET Network. It is Mr. Tom Merritt. Tom, Tom, Thomas, Mer- Thomas Mer- Merritt? Thomas Merritt. Merritt, right? Hey. Did I get that right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's sitting there. He's just drinking his whiskey. He's like, what's up, people? How y'all <laughs> doing? <laughs> Wearing his bow tie. You look up, like internet? A, you look like a sportscaster. You look slick with that. Uh, I'm not sure about slick, but yeah, you know, 50s uh, bottom of the barrel sportscaster. That's right. You're you're the guy doing the games. Nobody like the beginner league. You're the one covering the the World Series of uh, Pee Wee Pee Wee baseball. Is what's going on. <laughs> you told me to dress up. This is the best. The, the best. Yeah, clothes I we have. gotta dress up. You know why? Of course. Why, because Brian? Your- what? Oh, come on, come on. We've been talking this up. The chat room knows all about it. Chat room has been writ- writing half of our nominees. What is it, buddy? You know. Well, uh, Brian, I'm glad you brought this up. Listen, uh, for people who are not uh, you know, aware of this organization, we are presenting and we are proud to present the CTLO Awards for 2009 right here on the show. Oh, the GTFOs, the OZs, as they've been called for years. How, how old is this organization now that's been giving out the GTFOs? Literally, the first award was given out in 2 B.C. <laughs> Two is, uh, you know, continued every year since. <laughs> and I know right now, this has to be something that every fan of GTFO awards has to know right off the bat. But what exactly, who's the winner of the GTFO for 2 BC? Oh, uh, that was uh, Sand. They gave it to Sand that year. Sand, they were just yeah, like, they were, we're not done a fan of Sand. Sand. Sand GTFO. Yeah. You got you got to have you got to have that soundboard of ready. Of course to go. it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't GTFO back then. It was uh, uh I don't know. I, <laughs> I was about a, to say some higher yeah, like that. Like, phi I'm, Omicron, I believe. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to like bust out some Aramaic just like that. I was just like, "What?" <laughs> that would have been awesome. I mean, I thought it was hieroglyphics and I was going to say like, you know, like like owl man cross <laughs> Uh, that actually would have been bird bad. canoe man. That, that, that actually would have <laughs> been okay the because the hieroglyph alphabet that was an actual alphabet. Everyone thought that they were symbols, like Chinese symbols, and then they cracked the code when they realized that they were just really hilarious letters. By the way, one thing we got to do, we got to thank everybody in the chat room for providing all of our nominations for this GTFO uh, awards ceremony. You may have noticed that uh, we're a little bit gussied up. Everybody's wearing their their Sunday best, except for Justin, who is wearing a cowboy hat. No, listen, I'll tell you what, here. I'll let you guys see the vest a little bit. I'm very, very proud to be giving the keynote address at Deadwood Con 2009. 
Uh, so I wanted to bust out, uh, you know, the, the the dress a little early. By today. the way, I know a lot of our audience are fans of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and a lot of them have noticed that you bear a striking resemblance, both in your facial hair and in your voice, to a, to one Charlie Day. So if you would, since you have, I mean, you're already dressed this way, could you just could you just yeah, let me feel you up? <laughs> let me the, the, go no, ahead. I won't. I will not, and I refuse. Oh uh, come on, because for this reason, I actually called Brian when it happened. I was listening to a past episode of this and I listened to me say something and I just had this this rush of realization that oh my god I do sound like Charlie Day <laughs> this is not just a joke that the internet is portraying against no come on you're like oh come on man let me feel you up no no okay no. all right let's get let's get things started how does it work with the GTFO awards because we don't just pick stuff I mean we don't pick anything it's all handled no, by the GTFO no. committee right and, and really I'll tell you what I have to say this that um uh, Tom Merritt, of course, a fantastic host of, of, of Buzz Out Loud and East, Me uh, East Eat, East Eat Meets West, uh, <laughs> yeah, a, a show of, of gastronomical some. intestines. Um, <laughs> now, East Meets West uh, with, with Robert Chang, the, the inimitable Robert Chang. Uh, he was not, we did not pick him to be on NSFW tonight. He was assigned to us by the GTFO organization. The, the, the GTFO Awards Committee, actually, yeah. we were when we were told, we were like, this is very exciting. Who should we get on the show? They're like, don't worry about it. We'll let you know. And then we get a call from Tom Merritt because you received a package. Is that is that correct? Yeah, I, I received a packet. You can see here uh, it's from uh, the, I don't know if you could tell, it's a typewritten address. They're a little bit uh, backwards there at the uh, oh. GTFO, but it came to me at CNET. It's got uh, a, uh, a serial number on it, instructions not to open before uh, today at 7 p.m. Pacific. And they didn't even send it and, themselves. And a yeah. wax oh, seal. Look. Oh, look my that. God, that, that is. That's a wax seal on there. Uh, hold, up, hold up that return address again because it looks like it didn't actually come from the GTFO Awards Committee, but actually from, it looks like maybe Price Waterhouse Coopers. Is that yeah, what it PwC, is? PwC, right? Well, it did, yeah, it says by the order of PwC, so I, I can only assume that means Price Waterhouse Coopers. Of course, of course. No, this is... What else, would, what else would those initials stand for? Uh, uh, no, I cannot, there are no other words besides Price Waterhouse Peeny Coopers. Peeny Weenus Cuckold. <laughs> and, uh, they're also a very respectable firm, but uh, they don't think <laughs> they do a start in the accounting world. All right. Well, let's do this. I guess we should just jump right into it. And if we have enough time, we'll actually see if we can do a People's Choice Award this year with your calls. But we're going to start off with our first category with celebrities, the nominees. Mr. Justin Robert Young, you want to read them aloud to us? Uh, yeah, no, the celebrities uh, for this year's GTFO Award is Lady Gaga and her penis, of course. So not Lady Gaga singular, but Lady Gaga and her penis. Sarah Palin. Uh, dead celebrities in totality. So uh, just so for people keeping score, that does include Brittany Murphy. So for your, if you're playing at home, now, it now, does include Brittany Murphy. I, I don't think that means like, you know, we just hate dead celebrities. I think it's like, that it means we hate that the celebrities keep dying. Isn't that what they're what they're going for that like that? That's what, when I read the original Twitter. Uh, it, it's, it's open to interpretation, Brian. It's whatever you feel in your heart. Interesting. Much like the uh, idea of a god. Um, uh, uh, the Goslins also is our fourth and final nominee in Celebrity. And can I just say real quick that I'm glad that they grouped them together and said the Goslins plural and didn't pick a side one way or the other because the truth is I'm tired of them both. You can be gone. Uh, out of here. Just the view, Brian? I don't know. Did this just get really... Are we really going to have a conversation about the Goslins? Uh, uh, no, that was just a hilarious bit that I made up just now. <laughs> just, to, just to act like I cared one way or the other. And I'm sorry that you called me out. And before we actually unveil our first awards, we should point out that you can vote. You can have your voice heard at nsfwshow.com right now live. For those of you who aren't watching live, first of all, you're missing the video live. Second of all, you are missing the chance to actually participate this is a participatory show every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern at nsfwshow.com, also broadcast at live.twit.tv, so we can actually see the real-time results. I'm actually peeking over at the poll center right now. Leading with 42% is Lady Gaga. Second place goes to Sarah Palin. Dead celebrities coming in at, uh, well, 14. They're jumping ahead to 16 now. And well, no, you know, here, let me let me also just point this out, uh, chat room, Um you know, this, the, the GTFO award is a complicated kind of process because you don't want to give the GTFO award to something that is going to stay around. Right. Okay. Yeah. So no, like there's this a good is a chance that no matter what we say or the award system uh, decides to uh, bestow upon any of these nominees, right? That Lady Gaga or her penis will disappear anytime soon. This is a so, this is a this is a statement made by not us by the GTFO Awards Committee that it is your time has come, sir. Your time is up. It is time 
two. I'm saying this slowly so you can hit that button, Justin. It is time. To GTFO. That was not as smooth as, as, as I had hoped in my imagination. You got to be ready, Justin, because at any moment, I'm going to drop it, and I'm going to expect you to say, GTFO! <laughs> All right. How is that? Well, that's that? Good. Do that's you good. love me now, Daddy? <laughs> All right. The chat room has made it clear they are ready to see Lady Gaga and her manhood gone, but it's not up to us. Well, and by the way, I'll tell you, I would have thought dead celebrities uh, totally would. on this one. I would. I'm done with the dead celebrities. You know why? Because I plan to be a celebrity. And I don't want this trend to continue. Exactly. To be Make done. room down the bench, corpses. <laughs> All right. Enough screwing around. It is time for us to find out who did the GTF Awards co Committee come up with. All right. I'm breaking the seal on the main packet oh, here. We got to hold it up so we can see it. Yeah. Well, All right. yeah. The wax is falling. And that is real wax. That looks like now. Was... Oh, look at this. There is a, uh, a a packet of awards here. Oh, fantastic! And they're all they all have serial numbers on them. It says yeah. GTF Awards official, uh, official something awards something. A official awards result. Result. Exactly. Results. And just so everybody knows, uh, as is standard accounting procedure, everything is written in scrawled handwriting. Uh, with the official GTFO seal. Also, yeah, you don't want a computer, right? Because yeah. they're able to have handwriting experts verify that every single one was handwritten by that individual person. All right, let's yeah, look, hear there's it. A, uh, there's a wax seal on the back with handwriting yes, of the PWC <laughs> logo. This <so>. is <laughs> PWC. Here we go. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry. This is all from the awards committee, so I'm very impressed. This is huge. All, <laughs> all right, right, ready? He's going to bust over the envelope. Let's hear it. Here. Here we go. Let the wax fall where it may. And the winner is Lady Gaga and her penis. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. What an upset. What a surprise. Lady Gaga and her penis told in no uncertain terms by the GTFO committee to, what's that? GTFO. To GTFO. Wow, what a surprise. You know what it is? All right, yeah, I'll tell you what. I got to go ahead and take on bridge with, with the committee here and the chat room. I mean, like, th th she's not going to go away. I mean, no matter what the hint is, I think that we we owe it to the, the integrity of these awards to not give them to people that are obviously going to stay around. It's not, it's not our decision, bro. That's up to the committee. That's GTA. Lady Boy. Gaga and her tiny package are going to continue to have a bad romance with our pop culture. Uh -huh. I, I, I am furious by this one. All right. Well, you know what? You can take it out with the GTFO committee. Chat room seems to like it. They are very, they say, don't worry, her package will go away, jury. But <laughs> Oh, I don't think well, it will. The GTFO will. committee is known for taking political stands from time to time, and I they've think this is one of those very, sending a message decisions. They've made some very bold decisions, very surprising decisions in the past. In fact, you bring up a very good point. I think it's time that we take a moment to learn from the past decisions of the GTFO committee. Let's take a look at the final past winners of previous years of the GTFO Join us as we remember the past winners of GTFO. Tom is applauding. Chris Rocker. Slavery. Leg warmers. The Motorola Razor. Yeah, Tom clapped for that one. The Soviet Union. Ooh. Y2K. Hitler. Union in 1992, and what did the Soviet Union do? Got it. They uh, GTFO'd. Folks. They did. They they g'd the TFO. They g'd the yeah. TFO. That's the past tense. Of, oh, you're looking much better. You now you look like you're a riverboat gambler once you take that jacket off. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Hey, I'll tell you what. After that last one, I got to get serious. People listening to the audio podcast, I got my short sleeve shirt. 
and uh, my, my my riverboat gambling vest here. I, I'm getting serious. On, I, I have it. to get say all it. activists on these awards if they're not going to be given out properly. Come on, say it. Say it. Say it. Let me let me feel you up. Come on, say it. Let me feel you up. No, I won't, Brian. Okay. All right. Just fine. Very- fine. All right. Then we got no choice. We got to continue. <laughs> We got to go on Move with on. the on. Next the, category. <laughs> next category. Next category. Next category. We have, it is internet behavior. Which of the following needs to go? Nominees from Todd on a Tangent include first. And then the second one is fail. The third one, and I thought this was very astute, was fanboy bashing of all varieties. He says he's tired of reducing anyone to just a word, just a fail. Oh, you're just an Apple fanboy. You're just a whatever fanboy. And finally, multi-page top ten list. I think he's talking about uh, what link bait or or what do they call that? Yeah. Tom, when you cl- they make you click on everything. Yeah, yeah, it's total link bait. Yeah, yeah. when they, they do, CNET does it, they they put like ten <laughs> pictures on ten different pages and make you click through. Everybody does. Well, yeah, it's, it's like you know when 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 Nick Denton decides to pay you by page views, what you do is you make one very very simple four hundred word article into ten links. So you get that much more for people who actually decide to uh, read your content. Now, how do you feel about people who go halfway? Like, uh, what am I? What am I preferred sites? Crack.com splits everything into two pages, and that doesn't bother me. I know, you know, they get double the results from it, and then it, uh, it's only one click halfway through. I don't. Personally, mind I don't mind it all that much, and I, I'll tell you what: if, if the GTFO awards give it to that, I won't be furious because I think all of these really need to go. By the way, I'm surprised that that wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that you're editor of the blog WeirdThings.com, is it? No, or or iTricks.com for that matter. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I very rarely do that kind of link thing. Okay, all right. Uh, Tom, your opinion, which of these needs to go? Uh, well, you're right. Uh, all of them need to go. The fanboy bashing could stop. That's just, it's not, you know, very rhetorically good. First, I mean, come on, that is old. Uh, the fail meme is beginning to fail on its own. And those top 10 lists, man, like, just let me see all 10 at once. If you want me to click through for more stuff, give me something worth clicking for. Don't just, you know. The Make cha- it inconvenient. Chat room making a rather brash suggestion that maybe there should be an all of the above selection. But again, that's again, that's not up to us. That's up to the GTFO Awards Committee, who has already made their decision. In that's advance right. It is these. right here in this yeah. envelope well, here, right here. Tom, I'm, actually, I'm actually curious to hear your opinion on, on, on the fanboy bashing. What, what would you consider a overactive fanboy bashing? I, I think using fanboy to to either start or end an argument. Right. Oh, as as really if it were some sort of like, oh, well, you're just a fanboy, so I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Or I win because you're just a fanboy. It means nothing. It doesn't say anything. You got you've got to defend your position without using that. It's like uh, the Internet version of Godwin's law. When you bring up Nazis and Hitler, it, it pretty much ends the argument. When you bring Spoken up fanboy, like a true no. debate fanboy. Can we move on, please? <laughs> I'm a lecture I know. What do you do? Boy. Quote Robert's Rules of Order next. Lincoln Douglas fanboy asshole. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here it is. Here's it with, you know, the proof that this is untampered with. The Another seal. Wax right seal. There. We got the handwriting in a in a bizarre scrawl that I'm sure they paid somebody handsomely at the Pricewaterhouse Coopers. They are they are professionals at PwC. They don't they don't mess around. And I love that and we the, can yeah. actually see the wax seal being broken. And what, pray tell, is the winner? The winner is first. Oh! No! Oh, my goodness. What a surprise. By the way, we actually, if I'm not mistaken, we actually have a statement for, uh, and this wasn't to us. This is to the other internet behaviors, but it's from first. And the statement oh. is first. To win oh the my God! I could. What a surprise! Well, no. Can I just say this is this is really significant in the history of the internet since first has been maybe around since the internet first happened. Yeah. Like somewhere there were two Air Force scientists who were talking about you know the, the latest episode of Star Trek and wrote first. <laughs> like this has been around literally since forever. By the way, the chat room synthesized it perfectly. Soundwave says first. Fail, stupid fanboys. <laughs> <laughs> and he just needed one more. He needed to say, see my article on stupid fanboys like these. It's a top ten reason. <laughs> oh, man. I got to admit, this, I, this is easily with... in the top ten of stupid fanboy fails. <laughs> Click my ball. Uh, by the way, Dr. Who says uh, there must be a first post in hieroglyphics somewhere, which by... 
Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think it was actually written in response to the first GTFO awards back in <laughs> 2 BC. All right, we, let's do let's do one more, and then we'll take a short break here. Third category. By the way, yeah. gentlemen, any surprises so far? How are we feeling about it so far? To me, I don't know. If I'm going to critique these awards, uh, I think that there was one that is long overdue. It is what the GTFO awards were founded for lo so many years ago. Active social change to horrible, horrible uh, memes in our culture. I think the first thing needed to go and has now went. Lady Gaga, I, I don't even want to get into it again because she's not going to leave and we're going to look like idiots in a year we, when well, I she don't has see not why responded to her award, we, nor we, her penis. I don't see why you keep saying we. We are not the, GTF, the, the GTFO awards committee. No, we we're society. Just, no, but yeah, okay, but I'm telling you that, that the NSFW show is the world exclusive portal for the GTFO awards. This is like you tune yes. into E to watch the pre-show, pre-show, pre-show before the Oscars. This is the only place you can get it. No, that's true. And on the interwebs is telling me in the chat room, Jerry, if you love Lady Gaga so much, why don't you marry her penis? <laughs> and maybe I will, okay? I'm on glad. the interwebs, maybe <laughs> now I we're will. we're talking the right language. All right, look, enough yeah, screwing I, around. Oh, go ahead. What do you got? What do you got for us, Tom? Well, no, I was just going to say, I think the uh, I think what we're seeing here is a very activist jury this year. They're they're saying what they would like to GTFO, not necessarily in the more traditional sense, calling what is about to GTFO. In in the so, uh, in the past, they have had a longstanding tradition where they knew when it was time and they declared it, and they've been right a hundred percent in the past. You know. Yeah, well, I think, and already rumors are starting to circulate that Lady Gaga got the GTFO award because she's not George Bush, uh, you know. <laughs> Who, strangely, I didn't get one. Maybe, oh, you know what, I guess George George did win a couple of years ago. So, I mean, they, and again, they called that one. And he 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 G'd the, the F to the, F the, the, the G T to the F to the O. I mean, all right, here, let's G go on. G -F -O. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying, go ahead. Uh, can we, uh, let's go on to the third category here. Uh, so far, in my opinion, we are one for one. Okay. That's not bad. Wait, one for two, you mean? We've done two. Yeah. Whatever. Right. One that's, for okay. Two. There's All right, one look. I like and one I don't. Third category. Memes. Now, these are good ones. Tiger Woods jokes from Travis Lopes. Keyboard Cat from DW Big. Frodo Baggins pick from Greg Sprague. I'm gonna let you finish from Pyro on a, spray, a swing. By the way, uh, just to fill in those of you who don't know already, the uh, Frodo Baggins, you know, we have tried our very best since our first episode of NSFW. If you watch the video feed, which if you, you know, you can see it at live or at twit.tv, they finally have all the video up there. You can see this photo here is a or, photo. Or just go to nsfwshow.com slash Frodo. Yeah, slash Frodo, nsfwshow.com slash Frodo. You can see the Frodo Baggins photo. You can tune into it right now. Uh, it's it's something to be beheld. Have you ever seen this photo? It's been floating around a lot. There's a story behind it, Tom. I know. T tell, tell me the story. Bring me up to speed here. Uh, well, the pro that's the problem. Is that it's sort of an involved story. We haven't had time so far, and we feel really bad. Chat room's very upset that we haven't had the chance to, I mean, we're six episodes in. You would think we would have time to tell this story, but we just haven't. So that's what they're talking about. When they say, which is weird, because it's like, why trash the Frodo Baggins pick when we haven't even had time to tell the story? Yeah, yet? to tell the story. But listen, Brian, this is this is a, a a ceremonial vote right now, I believe, for the GTFO awards uh, panel. Yeah, it, it, the number one far and away, a meme that died literally 24 hours from its inception. Can, can I can I make a guess? Can I make a guess? Because the poll results are clear about this. With wow, Brian, did you totally blow by your your opportunity to do the meme? What? Oh, oh no, I did. I should. Wow, did you blow by minutes. the opportunity? I was giving you a big fat melon of a softball, <laughs> you and you I just did? said, "Whoa, I... whoa, whoa! Wait a minute, Justin. Um, I, I, I will let you complete your thought, <laughs> but let me please make this point." <laughs> That's you know what? That's how it should have gone. Is it should have been a bunch of white guys who are hosting shows going, I will let you have your point, but first let me concede the following. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 to it, your point shall be completed uh, after I make my opinions known. <laughs> and in this case, my opinion is that the chat room has made quite clear that I'm gonna let you finish has 41% of the vote far and away. Second place is Frodo Baggins with 36.54. 
Uh, I don't know. It'll be yeah. very interesting. Well, and here we go. Giggle Loop is pointing out that this, uh, when it wins, I'm going to go ahead and say when it wins, not if it wins, um, will we'll follow a long history of Finnish-based uh, awards. Of course, Ross Perot in 1992 with the Can I Finish GTFO. Mm. <laughs> Good history there. That's, a, that's yeah. good. Wow, you are certainly a historian of the GTFO Awards. All right. When you got David Bry, when you get a vest like this, you can't help it. That's right. You can't help it. It just seeps in. Means. All right, uh, Tom Maritz. Tom, Tomas Maritz. Uh, yes, uh, so you could see the uh, GTFO. I don't know if they were starting to hit on hard times, but uh, they're using a Wells Fargo envelope. But they did they did black out the little window there. Uh, as, and it as is you're supposed to do and it by, is still by sealed rule, by the post office. They, they, you clear. I mean, look, they got it where it counted. You can't, you can't see the vote, right? I mean, it's right, right. No, the vote is is definitely black. <laughs> One might so. say they're being very environmental by actually. Maybe that's part of their green it's initiative. Just, yeah, a little say, reuse. Us, yeah, never heard anybody. That's uh, all right. Shall we? Uh, okay. People, people are saying in the chat room that um the the wax used on the uh, the envelopes is is man wax, which I don't know if that's a brand of wax. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying that it's man wax. I assume it's like turtle wax or, or surf wax. Could be min wax. Maybe. Min I don't know if it's don't man know. wax. Yeah. Ear wax. All right, let's find out who the winner of the GTFO meme is. Tiger Woods, Keyboard Cat, which, by the way, can I just say right now, I'm okay with Keyboard Cat. Keyboard Cat could stick around another year. I, I enjoy yeah. it. Uh, I will be furious if Keyboard Cat wins. Keyboard Cat needs to stay. But I tell you, the Frodo Baggins, it would be a tragedy if that one went because, I mean, it would just be gone. We wouldn't be able to say who it there was. There it is. And we do plan on revealing it at some point. At some point. Yeah. Beyonce. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's not Beyonce. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Oh, That one was pre written on there. Wow, that was very cool. Yeah. So for those of you who thought that Tom was just making it up when he pulled out the the card, I mean it was it was written. Somebody in the chat room asked me to uh, to turn it around and show you. Yeah, well that makes total sense. That's usual. Congratulations, Kanye West, in your meme. Uh finally we're gonna let you off off the case. That We're going to let him finally finish. <laughs> you know what? We are indeed. Will Kanye. you let that young flaxen haired beauty speak, Kanye? <laughs> All right. I tell you, let's, let's do it. I, I said we would take a break now, but we're only like 20, 25 minutes in. Let's do, let's do one more and then, and then we'll get started. Does that work for you guys? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, just, just real quick. I mean, I think we, we already went over it, but, uh, but, but Tom, uh, what do you think about that, that choice? Where, where are you at on that? Was, was it time that Kanye officially kind of got told by society or at least people emulating Kanye, the GTFO? Yeah, it seems like it's a little bit of a, uh, a against the grain. With the first two choices, we saw them very much taking a send a message sort of thing, like the Nobel Committee did with uh, giving Barack Obama the Peace Prize. But what we're seeing here is a more classic approach of this meme is over. It already, it, as we said, it already GTFO'd. It already G'd the TFO. Yes. Yeah, so uh, seriously, to say, I mean, as, as, yeah, as a is. guy who gets paid to talk about the internet and technology, did you ever see a meme kind of blow up in itself? faster than the than the Kanye thing. Like I was thinking uh, of it literally the, 12 hours after people started it. Yeah, uh Joe the plumber pretty pretty quick off that the mark. Good, yeah. I was seeing twitters about that like during the debate uh when that first came out and the uh oh what was the actor who blew up on the Terminator set? Like, why am I blanking on his name? Oh, 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 oh uh, uh, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah, yeah Christian yeah. Bale. Thank you. When, but at I, least I, Christian I Bale. Christian. Christian Bale had like some awesome techno remixes of his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Soon, you know, within no time. I mean, there was some good develop. They they put made some good material, is what I'm trying to say. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of songs that we can't play on this show. Oh man, I kind of wanted. To, I was actually trying folks, to load one for long time right listeners. Now. We learned our lesson. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got word on the, the standards of practices on the internet is a little bit in flux. They vary from day to day. So what, what's okay one day, maybe you get different word on another day. But we're, we're rolling with it as best we can. Uh, all right, let's do one more. This one is internet celebrities who need to GTFO. And so we have right off the bat <laughs> Fred from the internet. That's from Sam Walton, SR Walton 181. You, you know who Fred Figglehorn is, right? Of course. You, you, Hi, everybody. My name is Fred. Mm -hmm. You forgot to cross your mm -hmm. eyes when you did that. He's always the success story that everyone talks about. May well, we never. Funny enough, a uh, there was there was there was once a time when uh, I was a, a researcher. 
for a documentary series that aired on G4. And we were in the process of booking YouTube celebrities, uh, among which uh, Fred would have been one of them. Wow. Would he, have, would he have insisted, like, as part of his, con his, his negotiations, would we be like, you better have that hilarious voice filter, or at least a tank of helium, so I can cross my eyes. Uh, listen, he, he's a real diva, a real pushy diva, if you catch my drift. Oh, chat room is having a tough time. By the way, for those of you listening at home, we got Fred Boxy Baby. I don't know that one. Boxy Baby. What is that? Do, well, do, you, do you know what, Tom? I don't. I'm not familiar don't with Boxy, Boxy Baby. Why Play a little boxy right now. Somebody, somebody, uh, link us up in the chat room. A little boxy. Read the rest of the. Uh, All right. Read the got, rest of the nominees. We got Fred, Boxy Baby, Jay Brushwood. That's the butter <laughs> brother parking. That's my brother who worked on Duke Nukem, and uh, Kuhan, longtime favorite, uh, a, a fallen star in the NSFW universe, who at one time was our brightest shining Photoshop artist until he phoned it in on one of our Photoshop contests, and now some call him devil, some call him angel, but they all are very frustrated with them. They say, F Kuhan, praise Kuhan. And uh, we've got some links here. Let me see if I can find one of these. Actually, and whoa. whoa, is that her? Both hypnotic and painful. Is that that's her? That's mm. Boxy. Boxy. That is that is in fact Boxy. Here's what happened with Boxy. Uh, she was this uh, girl on the internet who was doing like any other YouTube ingenue. There are so many of pretty young women who look in their webcam and talk about nonsense that uh, we only tolerate because I, I hadn't noticed, but I'll have yeah. to take your word for that. Uh, and so anyway, uh, she wound up becoming the darling of uh, the B board. On 4chan, I don't know if you've heard of oh, it. Oh no, I've heard of the 4chan. Oh, okay, she's a 4chan. Yeah. Uh, like, like so it, it became yeah. laughing at at her, and then it became laughing with with her. I guess. Well, basically, it, it, she is she is the uh, you know the the face uh, much like Helen of Troy, the face that started a war that almost tore 4chan apart. They had uh, a part of the 4chan universe, I guess, wanted to uh, DDoS the site, and people kept posting about Boxy. She went from like zero to a jillion views in like three days and then as quick as it was was there she was just gone and she hasn't posted anything in like 11 months oh uh, she crumbled underneath the face of 4chan yeah no, chat so, I, mean, I, I would say if, if we give our official viking funeral for for boxy that would be appropriate for the yeah family. but then we wouldn't be giving it to fred and that's very difficult for me to uh to tolerate you i know, don't know fred, that i could handle fred falls into the same thing that lady gaga and her penis did for me that he's Fred's not gonna, not gonna go away although maybe fred will i don't know tom what do you think does fred have the legs to stay around i or think do we yeah if we if we go with those first two choices fred's got to be the pick right he's the message pick like right. they want him to go away uh boxy baby seems to be the best bet for the the classic pick, yeah, because uh, she's, she's or, the know. safe. She's the bunt. She's already done it. Yeah. She's self destructive. All, right, all right, no, we no need to use that language, Brian. She's a very young girl. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Listen, uh, we already got yelled at for content. Listen, you don't. Any don't of you know don't realize Brian sports. can't say the letter C, <laughs> so uh, he uses the letter B instead quite often. I use I use the one sports metaphor that I actually feel comfortable saying in a public forum because <laughs> I know what it means to bunt. It was like she's the bunt, and then. Hey, you no! Come on, whoa, whoa, come whoa. on. Really? Oh, calm down. Jesus, Brian. You guys and, uh, what do you think about your brother, your very own flesh and blood, being up for your GTFOZ? Oh, you know, listen, uh, that those are people still upset over a certain appearance, over a very distracted uh, butter brother parquet, which, by distracted the way... Distracted is a fun way to say it. <laughs> another way to say it is drunk. Okay. And another way to say it, still another way, is taking phone calls live on the air. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He called in and he got nervous and he had too much to drink. And literally during the air, he gets up and he calls friends and he st he thinks he's out of range of the microphone. And we're trying to do the show. And the whole time he's just like, nah, no, no, no. I'm on I'm on a live stream. You should watch it. My brother, he's he's <laughs> go to bblliveshow.com. It was I've never been so enraged. It was very frustrating. Yeah. Uh, uh, people also pointing out more past winners for people who are maybe joining us during uh, during the festivities yes. here. Uh, Cindy Margolis, a 1998 winner of a GTF. Oh boy, she did. She G'd the TFO. Yes, you That's hard did. to remember to say. You got to right, say right. he, he G'd the TFO. All right, 
Let's go ahead and find out what the story is. Bring it. All right, this is uh, serial number 715. Yeah. Uh, again, getting a little cheap with the uh, <laughs> Alameda <laughs> County tax form, but still sealed uh, on, the, on the back there. So a little, yeah. little sloppy in the seal, but here we go. I'm, I'm trembling with anticipation. Now, I'm Brian, genuinely... Brian, real quick, before he opens it up, what's your pick? Uh, it's got to be Fred, and that's out of personal frustration. Like, the problem is, is I listen to a bit of boxy, and I'm just like, hey, that's slightly annoying, but kind of clever. I listened to four seconds of Fred, and my soul tore in half, and I became like the Hulk. I'm like, Brian, smash internet celebrity. That's All right, here we go. That one sit there. All right. Ready? Yes. Kuhan. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Because Kuhan had actually called in. He actually he actually called in recently on our world record episode, which is coming out any minute on Twit. And he wanted to break a record for, for the fastest orange eating, but he didn't have an orange. So he's just like, I'll eat the fastest apple. And so we hit go and we've got like fast music playing. And we and the guy from the old Universal Record database is sitting there. He's tick, 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 tick. And we just watch Kuhan. Yeah, his world record of them looks suspiciously like a guy eating an apple <laughs> at a very leisurely pace. <laughs> By the way, Kuhan in the chat room is saying, leave Kuhan alone. <laughs> hey, can Kuhan call in and give a speech? You know what? Can we get an acceptance speech? This will be our first show. You know the number, Kuhan. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen right now. <laughs> and I can, uh, I can mail him the official card at envelope. Uh, I, uh, I think that works for me. All right, let me put the number on here for Kuhan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. And nobody uh, else called but Kuhan. Yeah, we need Kuhan only. All we have to do is tell the audience that that's what we're going to do. And I'm sure all of them will obey. Exactly. By the way, people are screaming in the chat room speech, speech, uh, uh, surely tapping their glasses with their butter knife. <laughs> Please tell us about your soon to rise. Hopefully he'll call in and say, you don't understand. I'm Lady Gaga part two. I'm not going anywhere. Would that now make him? How do you feel about uh, sorry, sorry, Tom? Go up. No, he 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 was making a dirty joke about uh Lady Gaga's <laughs> junk. But go well, ahead. he said part two, so that's how inappropriate, sir, for you to talk that way during a show <laughs> called NSFW. Shame You're on you. You're the one who said bunt. <laughs> it was, it's a sports term. All Come right, uh, Brian, please, please, Richard Pryor, calm it down. <laughs> Um, all right, no, uh, like how do you feel, Brian, about, about uh, a, a BB Live show and NSFW regular uh, earning a GTA board? This is a first for our show, it is, uh, surely. It is. I got to tell you, I'm a little bit honored. I mean, I kind of feel like dad and my son made good, you know? It's like, you made your mark, kiddo. You made it the all the way to the GTFOs. That's the big <laughs> deal. All right, the hold big on. show. Call her on the air. You better be Kuhan. Who is this? Hey, is this Kuhan? It is Kuhan. Uh, it is. Can we give out your real name or just say Kuhan? -E I don't care. Okay, it's Naeem Siddiqui, a.k.a. Kuhan. Uh, dude, how did you feel having the, not only the entire chat room? Because if I can real quick, let me jump over and take a look at how the actual live poll was showing. Oh, you know what? You actually were not the number one pick from the chat room. Chat room had you at 35%, Jay at 8%, Boxy Baby with 16%, and Fred with 40%. You defeated Fred. How does that feel, buddy? Uh, I, I know. It, it surprised me so much. I mean, you know, all, all, all the Fred haters, I suppose, out there, I just, just you know, they, they all hated me, but... I, I didn't think they'd hate me as much as they hate Fred. By the way, I'm convinced wow, that the Fred haters is this are also boring. are all the the, the what's that? <laughs> Oh my God, Kuan, be a little bit more boring. Yeah. Oh man, listen. G -G That's what my daughter says. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Kuhan. Congratulations. Now hit the bricks. Hit the bricks, Junior. Hit the bricks, Junior. Hey, and speaking of hitting the see bricks, you, tomorrow, you know what? Uh, Indiana Jones. See you tomorrow, Indiana Jones. You know what you do on bricks? Mr. Justin Robert Young. Oh well, you know, uh, Brian. Listen, let me um, let me tell you about a little product that is near and dear to my heart. Well, it's uh, 
you know, the Ford Sync. As you can see by my attire, I travel quite a bit, <laughs> riding the dusty trail S hither and non. Selling, selling oil, the right? Like you gospel. go door to door and you try to fill people up. You have a lot of oil and, and you want to fill them up and you ask them, can you fill them up? And how does it sound when you ask them, let me fill you up? Is that a reference? I don't. I don't understand. Uh, no, it's totally not a reference. Just you. Just but but just. But let's let's do a little role playing. Like ding ding. Hey, I, oh, I need gas. Oh, no, Brian, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tell me about the Ford Sink. Oh uh, well, you know, here's the thing with the Ford Sink. Uh, if you don't have one, you're probably going to die really <laughs> soon. Uh, most other uh, navigation and voice activated softwares. Number one, they don't bring you podcasts. They don't read your text messages. They don't know what abbreviations like GTFO stand for. Right. Uh, they don't download all your entire address book right into your car. Just by walking in, it goes, and put, <laughs> puts it right into your car, okay? By the way. Not only do, do the other navigation systems don't have that, they give you cancer. Yes, folks. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's man, scientifically you true. You no, if you no, don't get a porn sink, you'll die in six months. No, what's funny is you actually started off with a joke saying, you know, unlike other cars, this one won't kill you. And at first I'm like, oh, that's funny to say other cars will kill you. But like literally, if you're driving, and I talk about this all the time, I'm driving along and I get a message and it's like I'm awkward. And now, by the way, in two days, it is illegal in Austin, Texas for me to pick up my phone and check my, my messages. When I get an inbound Twitter or my phone goes ding, if I pick up that phone, I'm breaking the law. Now, first of all, that's one thing, right? First of all, I can get pulled over, get a ticket for it. Second of all, I could actually get in a car wreck and die. So that's where I thought you were heading when you said other cars will kill you. Because if you're well, in listen, another car... That, that is a known damage. And can please, uh, if uh, let, let's, let's play out the scenario where you die checking a text message that I send you. And then who, um, who takes over NSFW at that point? No, no, no. I want to hear your daughter's eulogy at your funeral. Oh, so, uh, yeah. They're, they're up there on stage, and they're, they're playing some music. They play this music. They say, Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to remember a man who used to have a heartbeat, much like the heartbeat you're listening in the background right now. And to speak on his demise, we have his lovely little daughter... <laughs> Miss Miss Penelope, what would you like to say to your father up in heaven? G G F L. Oh, come on! Oh my lord! If That's... only this man had a Ford Sync that comes standard on all new Ford, Ford um, Lincoln and Mercury... Mercury vehicles. Ford Lincoln and Mercury Lincoln and vehicles. Mercury vehicles. Then not only would he not be dead, but he wouldn't have to suffer the indignity even in the great beyond, where his daughter tells him to G get the freak out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, let me say a couple other things about the Ford Sync. First of all, you can make calls on your mobile phone. You can, It'll suck down your library, and you can actually tell it. It's Kit. It's Knight Rider. If you were in kindergarten when Knight Rider came out and you're driving along, you're like, you're like you know, computer. Yes. Okay, Kit, play the strokes. <laughs> it's like, you don't have the strokes. Uh, which... <laughs> the strokes haven't been invented yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's 1982, Brian. By the way, the strokes, a 2004 award winner of the GTFO. <laughs> Boy, they did. They GTF went, didn't they? <laughs> they certainly did. I think I like that. Instead of G to the TFO, I like the G the GTF it went. Uh, one thing that, that I think we always forget to say about the sync, because we're so enamored with the fact that you talk to it and it plays your music and stuff and reads your text. And as we see in the commercials, tiny little robots fly out of your car and steal music from unsuspecting bands. <laughs> it does look like that. It looks like he flies out there and be like, hey, there we go. This will be popular on the Internet. I'll just plug in and steal bootleg. You get to listen to bootlegs. Then you do. Uh, but the other thing that we always forget to talk about is the GPS, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and real-time traffic and weather. And when you put it in a destination, it actually says, okay, so so it'll route you differently, much like the, the Google Maps app, uh, app on your iPhone. It'll actually only, I'm not dangerous like the Google Maps, because you drive with the Google Maps, you're like, I'm about to die because I'm looking at my phone while I'm driving. And this one actually routes you automatically. You don't have to worry about it. It's awesome. And in fact, our, uh, our, our, our web designer, Travis Lopes, is actually going to buy a Ford Sync vehicle, I'm pretty sure, entirely because they're a sponsor of this show. And because it's the best thing around. Of course. Of course. Oh. On merit. He needs to buy it for his own on safety Tom and Merritt. safety of his family. He'll actually stand on Tom Merritt to do it. One more thing <laughs> we want to say is that these guys want to know how they're doing with their advertising. So I, I'm not going to lie. It's a contest, all right? It's a contest. They put out the money, and then they want to know where their dollars went the farthest. And let me tell you, what are they going to do? They're going to search Twitter. What are they going to search Twitter for, Justin Robert Young? 
Well, they're going to search Twitter for pound Sink My Ride podcast, okay? That's and right. they're going to qualify it by if whatever show they sponsor's name is either before or after it. So what I want you all to do right now, please, folks, if you've enjoyed any sliver of this show and have a Twitter account, please go on there right now. I'm going to do it too and write NSFW is the is better than other shows that are sponsored by Pound Sink My Ride podcast. You know what? I actually like that. I actually am going to Twitter that out right now. If you guys want to retweet, you can. I'll see if I can uh, put that out there. Let me actually... It's tough to get stuff loaded and talk at the same time. No, wait, Tom it. Merritt, uh, Sing My Red Podcast doesn't sponsor Buzz Out Loud or East Meets West, does it? No. Good. Then good. every single show <laughs> that has ever been sponsored by the Ford Sing is not as good as this show right now. <laughs> Scientific fact. It is. It was backed up by... Uh, by uh... <laughs> by uh, evidence. Uh, by the way, they're asking online what my Twitter is. My Twitter is at Schwood. Justin Robert Young's Twitter is Justin R. Young. And, uh, and of course, uh, Tom Merritt's is at Ace Detect. And uh, all of us, you are, are worthy of being followed, except maybe me. But uh, everyone else here is worthy of being followed. We got a lot of interesting things to say, including, by the way, I'm going to retweet if somebody else says it. I want to yeah, see Yeah, by the way, just go to my account, uh, twitter.com slash Justin R. Young, and retweet what I just put out. All right, I'm and, retweeting uh, it. There we go. NSFW show is better than every other show sponsored by SinkByRidePodcast.com. Go ahead in, and retweet in, that out right now. In closing, I would like to say, let me feel your hump sink. Oh, 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 you did it. You did it. Oh, thank you. Let me feel you up sink. Okay. Look, we've got a couple more GTFOs. And if we have time, we're going to do a people's choice with the chat room directly. Your voices will be heard. Mr. Thomas Maritz. Is, hey, is it true that uh, there's a new Mustang coming out called the Mustang GTFO? <laughs> <laughs> you the know what? fastest Mustang because it just... Jeez, you TFO <laughs> you town to the, to the TFO. That is that is. Well, it does what it says. It gets you the frig out yeah. of there. It gets you the 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 F. It jeez you the TFO. All right, so let's let's hear it. Next category. We've Next got category. A- uh, they did a little worse job blanking out the window on this one, but it's still official. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just, it just says GTFO st- stuff. <laughs> Still has the uh, seal. It's on an ad coupon that I have to rip <laughs> off. Just, but I, just, I think it's still pretty sealed. <laughs> they just dribbled. They just dribbled wax all over it. Do you oh, want any of these premium stamps, by the way, while but, I'm opening this? Because I can hold the. <laughs> there's a form you fill out on the back. So. By the way, did they include? Did they include the bow tie for you to wear? I wish you. I wish the home viewers who are listening this could is, see you with the bow tie. <laughs> Yes, this is a GTFO standard issue bow tie. Okay, available at the GTFO hey, by the way, shop. Brian, we, we need to see the uh, we need to see the nominees. Oh wait, we need to see the nominees. Yet. Yeah, Sorry. I was about to say. Yeah, okay. that's I was about. Don't open. I haven't broke the seal yet. It's still uh, good. These are trends of 2009. Some of the biggest trends in 2009. Some of them need to GTFO. <clears throat> by the way, I paused so that you could hit the GTFO button, but you didn't. Do you have the robot one? I like the robot one. No, that's the robot. The, do you have the robot? GTFO. Yeah, that's GTFO. the better one. That's GTFO. I like that one better than GTFO. See, they're they're all good, but I think the robot's the best. All right, the first tr- among equals is the, the robot. <laughs> they're trends. Okay, we've got Auto Tune from Brendan S one two five two. We've got Twilight from Mac Masor. Hipsters from Pete Vick and Birthers from Dan Berg. Took me a lot. I was late to understand what the birthers thing was. You you know what that is, right? Well, they're, they're the people, people that are, are convinced uh, President Obama was born in a country other than ours, which is, which would of course uh, preclude him from being our uh, our leader. Uh okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. I mean, I I did know that, but I, but I didn't when I first heard of it. I'm just like, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah, I mean, to be I fair, didn't know they were called uh, birthers. Yeah, they, they, they did not call themselves the birthers. They yeah. are called birthers by, you know, and actually, uh, by people I'm, who think that. I'm kind of down, and this goes back to the um, uh, the fanboys thing, where it's like you could diminish anyone's argument by just saying, ah, freaking fanboy. And if you could do like pretty much anything with errs at the end, like the way people say, ah, oh, those teabaggers, ah, oh, those birthers, ah, oh, those. I can think. I can think of a few words that end in errs that really get you in hot water, Brian. That's a, <laughs> that's in true. In fact, that's some true. of them might have been said on this very <laughs> podcast last week. And, and you know what? I'm guilty of it too. Sorry, I'll call folks. them truthers. I'd be like, ah, oh, you crazy truthers. 
there's 9-11 was not an inside job. But the problem is... It's I think, like, yeah, that's where birthers came from, right? It was a play on the truthers thing. Yeah, yeah. Which, which, by the way, and it's like, you know, I don't know. It's a, Bunters would I'm be assuming, another one that you could say. Bunters. I'm assuming that the birthers have no... Uh, have no evidence that, or no good evidence. I'm assuming that 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 the birthers are a fringe group. That that nothing's going to happen there, and that they probably don't have very good evidence. If they did, maybe things would be different. But to me, that's a huge leap to lump them in with the truthers. Those 911 truthers. Like to me, I'm just like, ah, that's they're harsh. pretty fringe, though, Brian. I, I don't know. I, I would say that at some point, both both uh, 911 the, inside the truthers and the birthers need to kind of. Take, uh, I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm saying that maybe we could all reasonably sit down and look at, at very, very compelling evidence that makes a pretty clear assumptions on their claims. I would just say that. <laughs> By the way, the chat room is also pointing out that there's wangers and twitters and teethers. And, and <laughs> don't forget, uh, don't forget bunters. <laughs> come on, come bunters. on. Yeah. It was a sports analogy. It's a bunt when you don't really swing for the fences. Oh, and you just oh, hey, hey listen, out. we don't need to start, you know, defaming <laughs> it's the whole graphic. gender. Oh, come on. You guys, it's the bunt is when you hold no! you hold your bat. You right? want to get you another email out, from you, you know hold who? It out in front of you. You hold your cat. You you just hold your bat out in front oh, of you. Oh, that's right, because it's another. Oh, Brian, part. Brian, then, please. Okay, all right, all right. Really? Really? All right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, look, I don't know about you, but uh, out of these, I got to say there's one that jumps out light years ahead of the others. I'm not going to say which one it is. I'm actually going to check. I'm going to peek over at the poll, though. Oh, I'm shocked. Poll totally disagrees with me. To me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that, uh, you know, bir birthers, I think it, it's uh, an activist pick, but I think birthers gets it. Really? Okay, now, now what about you? Because kind of on I'm, the way out, too, though. What's that? The birthers thing is kind of dying, though. It's it's that's, sort of. But I mean, that, it's still I think simmering. I think that that's what the GTFO award is for. Maybe oh, guy, that's the it, same it's like, pick, it's like the guy the at the party. Pick. Well, let me tell you just, this much: the chat room has a very pro-activist agenda because I'm going to let you see what the current winner is in the poll results right now. Whoa! Birthers uh, a distant, distant wow. second Folks, place. Uh, that that the uh, the uh, Stephanie Myers, I believe, the author of the yes, Twilight book. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. She uh, a loud message, uh, you know, is out there from from the NSFW chat room at least. Here's the problem, though, folks. I'm sorry, 68 percent of the vote and climbing for Twilight. You know what? Why do people hate Twilight? Because I'll tell you what. I'm not. That's I haven't big. seen. My wife read the books. I haven't seen it. But I think what people hate about Twilight is seeing a icon of evil and darkness and badass fright turned into. A morally self-righteous, glowing, sparkly teddy bear that is the object of affection right. of tweeners. I, I, I'm actually going to take umbrage to this this notion, right, that Twilight needs the GTFO. And I will quote a great man, maybe a man that hopefully one day will visit us on this very podcast, and his name is Kevin Smith. At this year's Comic-Con, he took the stage right after the New Moon trailer premiered at Comic-Con. And he talked about it and kind of made fun of it. And he, uh, he he lambasted the audience for booing when he mentioned Twilight. Because as he said, I believe succinctly and correctly that, listen, folks, these how dare you criticize these 12, 13, 14-year-old girls who love vampires? Because one day, they're going to be 18-year-old girls, folks. There is a plan <laughs> in place, and it is working. Yeah, no, you know what? We forget, man. This is the gateway drug. This is what's going to open up a whole new wave of, uh, uh, for example, this girl right here. G -T -F -O. If she gets into the vampire, she's going to turn into it. I don't like what I'm thinking of right now with my daughter wow. being 18. Wow, very <laughs> interesting. Where are you going with this? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, what I wanted to think of is my daughter being cool. You know, she's 18 to 24 year old and she's into to vampires and, and sci fi or whatever. And then, Brian, uh, if I were you, I wouldn't look at the chat room the next oh, time. Oh, you Just guys are killing yourself. me. No, come on. The, but the point is, it's like, you know, I mean, I think I think all this stuff is cool. And I think in, being into geek stuff and sci-fi stuff is the place to be. And, and if a girl could do it, then she's going to do well in life. But uh, but apparently chat room just wants to uh, be dirty. I hate you. I hate you. Penny says, T-F-O. There you go. T-F-O? <laughs> well, sucking the life out of you. Uh oh. Oh, Robo Merit. We've got robot merits. Oh, really? Yep. Well, let me tell you a few things then. Tack, tack, black, back, inversion, <laughs> torque, two, one, four, two, five. You just push the button. All right. How you doing there, buddy? How's that? Oh, 
Dude, I wish we had the copyright so we could go, secret, secret, I've got a secret. I am <laughs> the modern man. Uh, All right. Well, uh, Tom, we, we already saw the prestigious envelope from the GTFO. Uh, right, right, uh, okay. Yeah. I put in my vote. I, uh, what needs I, to go, the activist vote should be auto-tuned. Twilight has no chance. Birthers, that's the safe one. That's that's punting. Uh, I punt, Can I say punting instead of bunting? Because I, I'm really well, yeah, uncomfortable by you don't have your that entire demeanor that changes episode, P's from like C's. So, yeah. okay, 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 good. All right, good. So it'll be it'll be <laughs> fun to, By the way, I just got a private message from the chat room from somebody called Pedo Bear, and it says, "You're coming with me." <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you guys. All right. So All right. Uh, I will save the uh, premium stamp for you, Brian. Uh, right. So you can get five, you know, pick your choice of five cool colors. Ooh. And uh, I will open this envelope now. Sealed envelope for anyone who questions. Perfectly sealed. And the winner is Hipsters. Hipsters. Oh! Brooklyn what a rise surprise. tonight as Hipsters <laughs> takes the GTMO award for 2009. I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely yeah, shocked. Fun. In fact, I'm so shocked I forgot to play the success music here. Congratulations, Hipsters. Congratulations, Hipsters. On your GTMO. That, uh, that's not cool. a popular choice. Yeah. No. G -G by the way, I like the way that picture is framed, where Penelope's head is just right down in between the laurel reeds, so she shouts at you, D D F O, like she completes the she completes the entire presentation there. <laughs> Chat room, not please. Chat room, yeah, they Chat room must be a bunch of hipster fanboys. Everybody, listen. Sometimes the popular pick is not the right pick. That's fair enough. That's true. That's true. Let me tell you. Oh, by the way, they're chat. They're kicking the the chat room is kicking people. The flood is so bad. They're so upset right now. Wow. All right, we've got one more. We've got one more, and actually, we've got a controversial one. Uh, Justin didn't want to do this one. We could either do the controversial one, or we could go straight to people's choice. What do you want to do? I want to do the controversial one. I do have the uh, the controversial envelope. So yes. You want to you want to play the controversial card? Is that? Oh, yo, yeah, yeah. I wish you would have done this one first, actually. Oh, really? Now? Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Well, let's do this. This one, uh, the final, final, final of the official GTFO Committee Awards. Organizations. We've got Fox News, the RIAA slash MPAA, AT&T, that's submitted by me for their network, and Comcast. Now, in this case... When you get to a category like this, it's a little bit different because, let's face it, none of these organizations are going away. This is a kind of a place for the GTFO committee to have a little breathing room and just speak their mind. This is the virtual kind of shouting across a drunken bar, hey, you GTFO. And by the way, chat room, very divided over all this. We're watching mm -hmm. it go through mm -hmm. a lot of Fox News, a lot of RIA, MPAA, a lot of Comcast. In fact, I'm actually checking. Let's actually look at the actual, look at that. Ooh, it is Ooh, a split. That's neck and neck. It is a dead heat between Fox News Check and the RIAA oh. MPAA. Don't forget, you can vote at nsfwshow.com. You can also catch the show live every Tuesday, 10 p.m. What do you say, Tom Merritt? Actually, let me get your opinion first on this, Justin. Sure, Robert. sure. You, you don't even like, you wanted to actually cancel this whole category. I did, because it's just like, oh, let, let's go into the well-worn the, the, the well -worn sack of pet internet causes, and let's pick one of them, and we'll hold it up, and we'll all scream and yell and talk about how bad it is. And I'm not saying I'm a fan of any of these organizations. In fact, if I were to vote, and I will say I'm going to vote for Comcast on this one because they shut off my internet a few days ago for not paying. Um, <laughs> well, but here's the thing. if When you say the problem with the something like this is we could be accused of pandering to the public, of, of you know, essentially link baiting to our show, making people like us by proxy because they hate those organizations so much. And I would say that we here at NSFW would absolutely be guilty of exactly that. Tom Merritt, what do you got? All right, you ready? I'm ready. I even have the. Here's there the. Uh, it's a. It's a little. This one's a little less official. I think they were doing temps <laughs> at this point in they didn't the. Even uh, black out the, the process. At this, at this point, it looks like maybe it was after a few uh, eggnogs. There's, the, uh, there's a co coupon for a gigabyte party. iPod shuffle here. I can save for you on the envelope. <laughs> and the winner is. All right. Oh wait, that's the coupon. Here we go. 
R I A A M P A A. Oh, wow. oh it's Chris Gillen. You heard it. Oh. R-I-F-A, R-I-A-N-P-A-A. You and your big bully tactics, not appreciated by this little girl. T-T-F-O. There, it's it's plain as day, written all over my face, my praise. Everyone's <laughs> shouting guy, yeah. GTFO. We are vindicated. The people have spoken. Congratulations. They're calling me a bunter. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's do this. We have just enough time for one extra, and this is going to be very special, and it's going to be first come, first served. I'm going to put the phone number up on the screen. Right now, that's the Twitter, but we're actually going to do a People's Choice Award. So I'm going to do... And by the way, uh, we got some people calling in on the Skype. All of our Skype channels are taken up right now. So you have to call in. We're only taking callers, and it's going to be one right after the other. If you get a voicemail, uh, you, you could leave a voicemail if you want, or you could just jump right forward. First come, first serve. We're going to take the first four nominees, and we're going to do our People's Choice GTFO Awards. Give us a call at the number on your screen right now. If you're listening to the show, you're probably wondering what that phone number is. You would know if you were watching the live. Hey, you think we're going to get a uh, iTunes video feed anytime soon, Justin? From Twit? From the cottage? Yeah, from, King from, Leo? from the, the real place, um, yeah. I don't know, hopefully. Yeah, no, I would imagine so. Well, and It's one of those things where it really is up to the audience. If enough people send requests saying, hey, man, I enjoy the show by video, and I think it should be on iTunes. Well, I'll tell you what, for, for the three people that get it, Jim Caldwell from TSS Olic, I, I definitely am, uh, enjoy that pick. I didn't get it. I'm off that. No. By the way, caller, you're on the air. What is your suggestion for the People's Choice GTFO Award 2009? Brian, it's Zach. Jay-Z, and I'm nominating the TSA. Oh, my gosh. The TSA. That wouldn't have anything to do with, like, the 12 angry Twitters I put out about the TSA. You're not pandering to the I'm furious now. about the TSA. Oh, my name is Brian Russell. Let me link the 17 knee-jerk articles before anything has officially been decided. <laughs> I'm very angry. All right. Oh, thanks, Zach. Uh, by the Have way, I the mentioned that I take seven flights a week every week? Yeah, no, and, and I'm in I'm in the weird demographic where it's like, that matters to me. Most of you guys, you don't care, but to me, that's my office that I live in, and it's difficult to, you guys make policy decisions, and I'm like, no, I have to go through this every day. Please don't do this. All right, caller, you're on the air. What is your vote for the People's Choice? T -S, uh, G -T -F -O. I just wanted to know where Brett Rounceville's been. Brett Rounceville, man, he's been, oh, he been behind died. the scenes. He died. You didn't hear about that? <laughs> you, oh, my God. You did not just say Brett died. No, he died. He actually died. <laughs> that's terrible. He didn't buy a Ford well, Six. funeral. In fact, actually, I've got a scoop for you guys. I'm going to tell you in advance that Brett Rounceville is on this week's episode of Scam School this Thursday. A new episode every Thursday. Uh, do you have a suggestion for? Do you have a suggestion for our GTFO awards? Chris Angel. Oh. <laughs> Chris Angel. That also might be a little bit of pandering to the host because as many people mm -hmm. know. People know that I'm a magician, and magicians have mixed opinions of Mr. Angel. Uh, so that's, we'll put him on the ballot. we got another call right here. Caller, you are on the air. What's up? Uh, hello. I, what about Mac versus PC arguments? Ooh. Oh, now here we go. Mac now versus we're talking, PC folks. arguments. Kind of a, uh, a subset of the whole uh, fanboy category. Yeah, just, no, yeah. that's great. That's a good one. Man, those are these are all really good. I'm loving these. Okay, and so what do we got so far? We got the TSA. We've got Mac versus PC, and we got Chris Angel. Chris, Chris Angel, Angel, maybe not in the same league Chris as the other Angel. ones. Uh, somebody is sending me an article that doesn't mean, make any sense. And we got our final caller right here. Caller, you're on the air. What's up, boss? People who did from TSA because I work for them. Oh, you worked. Oh! Ryan, why don't you apologize to this man after yelling and apologize. screaming about the TSA? Or all weekend. It's not let it's me not tell the you, guys dude. in the blue shirt, man. No, <laughs> let, me, let me let me tell you, dude. Uh, and and that's one of the great tragedies is the people who make it the TSA. It's like you look them in the eye and they're just people and they're doing their job and they're 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 doing what they have to do. It is so frustrating to me that the policies are so knee jerk. And we I don't want to get into this right now, but well, let me tell you. Uh, well, what Brian's trying email. to say is that he feels genuine remorse for inspiring a mob of fiery torches and pitchforks that you will have to deal with on a daily basis. Yeah, and by the really way, sorry this has that. to be like a crazy tough time for you right now. Like, everybody has to be giving you some major S right now, right? 
Yeah, that's every day, no matter what. Oh, <laughs> that's rough. That's rough. Well, hey, man, my so heart he really appreciates you. you fanning the flames. No, what he's trying to say. He really, really appreciates. Let, let me just let me just say this to our caller friend. Look, I love I love people, and and the only way that you know I do have problems with policies, so I try to speak about policies. But let me make it very clear that every person working in the TSA is doing their 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 very red letter best in order to make this um, this country safer. And I totally believe that with my heart, despite the frustrations you may have on a day to day basis with the policies. But I appreciate your call. Man, thank you so much for calling in. Good point, Jenny. Jardin. No problem. All right. What did you just call me? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fill you up. <laughs> right. Fill you up, man. We got we got one more. That was really cool, man. I got to tell you, that's tough to. I mean, somebody somebody hears somebody you know smack talking his organization, and you just called in and he handled. You know, I mean, that's that's what I'd like. That's one of the things I think is special about the type of people watching the show is that we can actually have a discourse like that where it's not that BS demagoguery. Quit sucking up. What? He called in. You're yelling about the DSA. And I think he has, a, he has a good point, but you don't need to suck up now. I'm just saying I love everyone, especially the callers on this show, including the caller on the line. Hey, you got one more suggestion for a People's Choice Award. I want to nominate the people who keep breaking in the jury's car. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. All wow, right. way inside. Because it's one thing when we make a joke about BB Live Show or NSFW, so new viewers have no idea what we're talking about. Right. But when you make a joke specifically uh, kept within the confines of my Twitter stream, you know you're going inside baseball. Oh, dude, totally. That's just it. If they follow you at Justin R. Young or they follow me at, at, at Schwood Duck or at Schwood or if they follow, follow Ways Detect, all of them were way big on that, that story way early on. The fact so whatever, that yeah. My car got broken into twice this year and both times they stole my XM radio and now I don't have XM radio anymore. Did you cancel so, your XM radio? Yeah, first I time canceled it. I got it for Netflix. Oh, good. Good, good, good. It all out. right, well, let's see. Let's find out what... The winner is of the, now. This is weird to me. Somehow, well, yeah, hold I guess on. they I, knew. Oh, you're gonna go get the envelope, Tom Merritt. I think yeah, it's somebody just special delivered uh, this 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 envelope right here. Oh, oh my god! Wow, that, that is fast. crazy. They are yeah, good over at Price Waterhouse Coopers. That's amazing. That is amazing. They, so you know, I, just I'm not reiterate. sure their price. But they're definitely PWC, though. Maybe they're a subsidiary or something. Uh, that doesn't look like Price Waterhouse. Wait, hold on. What's that? To a little bit right off. There. There's a logo off to the side. Can you tilt yeah. it over a little bit? There's right. Okay. Apparently, a subsidiary <laughs> of another company. But hey, by listen. Way, just because you don't use the envelopes doesn't mean they're not still good. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's paper, <laughs> to baby. To reiterate, our four candidates uh, were were actually we got five candidates. We've got we've got uh, the 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 T, the TSA. People who talk bad about the TSA. We've got <laughs> Chris Angel. We've got, uh, what was the other one? Mac versus PC. Mac versus PC arguments and... Breaking into the car. Break, and the guy who breaks into Jury's car is the GTFO. I like the fact that people think it's the same guy who's uh, just tormenting. Who, who, by the way, chat room, chat room is clearly voting Mac versus PC. Although second place, surprisingly, is people who keep yeah. breaking into Jury's car, which is That's very inspiring. That is. <laughs> well, let's All find right. out the actual award uh, from the People's Choice. Right there, Price Waterhouse Coopers, PWC, GTFO, FTW. L -O -N. And the winner is Mac versus PC. Oh, who would have seen that? Jones and I say see you guys see you next Tuesday that's our slogan for NSFW isn't that I love it we'll see you next Tuesday <laughs> uh, and uh, I guess what next episode is going to be when uh, oh wait are, are, are we shifting days because of the we coverage? may be but let me tell you off the record uh Definitely every Tuesday at, at, at 10 p.m. Eastern at NSFW shows, something will be happening. I think actually all of Twit is going on holiday for, for the Consumer Electronics Show. So regardless, we somebody will be there keeping our seat warm if you go to NSFW show. Uh, but of course, we can see you over at weirdthings.com and the weirdthings.com podcast. New favorite Weird Things podcast, by the way. Very oh, dark. Really? Very good. No, I, I, a lot of scientific content. Andrew Main is a damn genius. I, I had a lot yeah. of fun on that one. I thought it was very good. Oh, yeah. No, Andrew Main is, is a big, uh, a really, really, really smart guy. In fact, 
I will say this, that if you if you notice, I have a little bit of color on my face because I've been mm. out shooting something that not even Brian knows about. It is a top secret project that I will right now tell you, I'll, I'll be sprinkling hints over the next few weeks and it will debut right here on NSFW. And I will tell you this right now, a bold guarantee. It is the, I've never done anything like this. And it's, the, uh, I'm so proud. He's, he's speechless. He's do. literally speechless, I'm speechless, speechless is what he's saying. It's, it's that, yeah. it's that good of a thing. It's so incredible. And, and, um, I, I I I don't know if I can even yeah, give a hint. Don't now, tip, don't tip finished. the rocket sauce too soon, man. Take take yeah. your time on it. You don't need to make it happen. But anyway, so that uh, everybody follow Justin R. Young on Twitter. I think I'm going to do another 24 hours of rapid fire very very soon. Oh, that was a lot of fun, by the way. Uh, Tom Maritz. Tom, by the way, did you did you watch the 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 how to video that we recorded for the GTFO awards where we kept mis mispronouncing your name? No, no, I missed that. Oh, How did I gotta miss that? that? I got to go watch that. Yeah, if you follow the Twitter, sometimes we have ideas that are too complicated for uh, for us to just Twitter out in 140 characters. So we actually record like a three or four minute video saying, all right, guys, this week we're going to do X, Y, and Z. And the only way to know what we're doing is to follow our Twitter feeds at, at Schwood and Justin R. Young. But uh, they can catch you buzz out loud every single weekday. Is that right? Yeah, there's even uh, uh, stuff that we recorded, uh, you know, special episodes over the break. Uh, we come back Monday, January 4th, and then we head off to CES as well. And I do East Meets West right here on the Twit Network every Sunday at 5 o'clock uh, with Roger Chang. It's commentary on culture, just, you know, chatting about whoa, whoa, stuff the off the Roger top of Chang? Yeah, dude, what's it like? What's it like to work with Roger Chang? Seriously. Well, he's he's a god among men. I mean, you know, the with a brain the size of a planet like that, you can't get much to sl slip by that guy. Dude, let me tell you, man, we love Roger Chang. Dude, I mean, like we Chang love, him. We love him. Yeah, I think they're going to be starting to sell a little bit of Roger Chang in stores soon. What? So. Oh, seriously? Yeah, like you know, like those little uh, mini uh, je like Jello cups of, of Roger Chang. You'll be able to buy those. <laughs> Chang singles. I'm digging it. That's of his. That's of his min wax that you can get in the Jello cups. Is that what it is? Um, <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, chat room wants to know about the Frodo Baggins story. Do we have time? Do we have time to tell the story? No, yeah, we I don't. Got it. I'm, However, I'm still curious I am getting to hear in, about it in my ear right now, Brian. I think someone. Uh, I'm getting. It's an email that I believe you have also received because I can see it. Your name on this. It's a, an email from the GTFO office really the home office all right well hold on let me take just a moment to open this up we're supposed to be wrapping up the show but instead we're apparently doing a comedy bit instead which is a little bit weird for me uh i uh, this is unprecedented this is unprecedented we've never they, they didn't even have an election they just no. they just out of nowhere sent us i mean this is the real deal ladies and gentlemen we have won a gtfo we have a special GTFO award. They finally told us that we need to tell the story or GTFO. Well, let's hear it real quick. You got you got 30 seconds. Go. All right. So uh, one night, me and my buddy Mike Rio are at a bar, Smoky Bones. Actually, it's a restaurant that also has a bar. And there was this really, really drunk girl who was uh, screaming and yelling about how my friend looks like Frodo Baggins. Right. Uh, and how did she sound when she dumb. said it? Yeah, she kept screaming, Frodo! Frodo! He kept hugging on his arm like, Frodo, you're the best, Frodo. Sign my boob. Sign my boob. And your so friend's like, did. no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to sign your boobs. Please, lady. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, he he did. I took a picture. And, and the next day I said, hey, Brian, it'd be pretty funny if uh, if we put this on NSFW because it was literally debuting the next day. And lo, we did. And the reason why we haven't told you guys is because it's a really terrible story. It, yeah, and now you know the truth. You know the true story. And finally, we can say to this little gem, G -T -F -O. All right, that is it for this episode of NSFW. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much. We have our own OZ, the GTFO Awards. What an exciting time. I love all of you guys, man. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday, boss.